Hello! We hope you're well this evening. We would love to give you a huge warm welcome to our Kids Takeover Church service this evening. Thanks so much for taking some time out of your Sunday evening to join with us. If you're new to Glen Abbey, we especially welcome you and we'd love to get in touch with you. So please contact us via the church website. So I have a question for everyone tonight. What are you afraid of? I am afraid of walking through a forest on my own. I am afraid of sharks. I am afraid of spiders. I was afraid that someone would have discovered my secret stash of chocolate. <laughs> we all have different worries and fears. Some are quite small worries, like maybe not being able to find your shoes in the morning. And some are quite big worries, like maybe you worry about making friends at school. The great news is that God cares about us and he wants what's best for us. In the Bible, he often encourages his people to take their minds off their worries by focusing on who he is instead of what the worries are. Listen along as some of our smallest members of church, with a little bit of help, teach us from the Bible. The Bible says in Psalm 121 verses 1 to 8. I lift my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. The Lord protects you. The Lord is a shelter right by your side. The Lord will watch over your life. He will keep you from harm. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. Hi everyone, it's so lovely to see you all again. Today I'm going to be praying with you, but we're going to do something a little different today. What I would like you to do is go and find a really big towel in your house somewhere and bring it back down here. You can pause the video to give you time to go and get one. Okay, have you got your towel? Brilliant, here's mine. It's massive. Now what I want you to do is to put the towel around your head. All right, so put it over your head. There we go. So nobody can see you, but you can poke through so you can still see me. All right, now what this reminds us of is that even when we're afraid of the dark or you're afraid of being on your own, or maybe you're afraid when you don't know what's going on, this reminds us that God still sees us. So even now, when we're hiding under our towel, God can still see us. And you know what else is amazing? God can still hear us as well. Even when we're scared and we're hiding under a towel, God can still always hear us. So we're going to pray to God now under our towels, and we know that he will still be able to hear our prayer. So what I want you to do is close your eyes for me. All right, let's close our eyes. Dear God, sometimes I'm afraid of, and you can tell God what scares you. Now repeat the next bit after me. You are bigger than the things that scare me. You never change. When you're with me, I don't have to be afraid. Amen. Well done, everyone. Great praying. Looking out, it's a great big world. Where do I go? How do I fit in? Gotta keep this one thing. Me, God is for me. Who can be? Who can be against 
ghost that wasn't a ghost. Peter looked round at his friends in the boat, but with all that wind and rain he could only just see them. Some were pulling hard on the oars, a few had grabbed the sails, others were tipping out water from the boat as fast as they could, but it came back even faster. The wind bashed the boat, the waves crashed into it, the storm was huge. And they were all very afraid. But then, things got worse. As Peter peered out across the sea, wiping the rain from his eyes, he thought, just for a moment, that he saw something. It was far away and hard to see. Maybe he imagined it. But no, it was there. And coming closer. The others saw it too, and it looked... (laughs) <laughs> no, surely it couldn't be. But it did look like... Ah! It's a ghost! They yelled and cried out in fear. They were terrified. But then the ghost spoke to them. Have courage, he said. It's me. Don't be afraid. Peter knew that voice. It might have looked like a ghost... But it wasn't. It was a man. And not just any man. They knew this man. He was their friend. This was Jesus. But this man was walking to them on top of the sea. Just as if it was solid ground. Peter wasn't sure it could really be Jesus at all. So he called out. He maybe didn't even realise what he was going to say until the words were out of his mouth. Lord, he said, if that is really you, tell me to come to you on the water. Uh, What? What a thing to say. Did Peter really want to say that? He got a quick reply. Just one word. Come. Oh no, (laughs) now Peter had to do it. He grabbed the side of the boat and carefully, slowly, gingerly, he stepped out. First one foot, then the other. And yes, he was, he he really was standing on the water. He looked up to see where Jesus was and started walking towards him. One step after another, closer and closer getting nearer to Jesus all the time. But then he glanced away. Just for a moment, he took his eyes off Jesus and looked at the storm instead. He saw the wind, he felt the waves, and he became very, very afraid and started to sink. 
Peter did the only thing he could. He cried for help. Lord, he called, save me. And right away, Jesus was there. He reached out his hand and caught Peter before he could sink any further. And Peter was safe. Your faith is so small, Jesus said. Why did you doubt? And then he helped Peter back to the boat and they both climbed in. As soon as they got in, the wind died down and the storm stopped. Peter and his friends all looked at Jesus in amazement. They already knew he was someone special. But now they realised he was much, much more than that. This wasn't a ghost. This wasn't even just a man. Truly you are the Son of God, they said. Peter and his friends had been so afraid of that storm. And then they had become so afraid because they thought they were seeing a ghost. But as soon as Peter realised that it was actually Jesus coming to them, walking on water no less, he didn't feel afraid anymore. In fact, he felt brave enough to do what Jesus told him to do, to come out of the boat and walk on water towards him. Sounds crazy. But Peter was learning to trust that Jesus was the Son of God. Jesus had made everything and controlled everything. He had power and authority over everything. Peter didn't have to feel afraid of the storm anymore because Jesus had power over the wind and the waves. Now, the storm was still there and Peter took his eyes off Jesus, looked around him and became quite scared of that storm again. And then he started sinking. But Jesus was still there. And when Peter called out to Jesus to save him, Jesus didn't give it a second thought. He just reached out his hand and pulled Peter in from the waves. Jesus is the son of God. So he was able to save Peter and completely calm the storm. When Jesus is with us, there is nothing to be afraid of. Life may be difficult, sad, scary or worrying. But Jesus is still and will always be the Son of God. Because he died, taking the punishment for our sin, and rose again, proving that he's much stronger than death, we can be sure that there is nothing in all creation that will ever be able to separate us from the love of our God. We don't need to be afraid.
always cares about me No matter what I've done Through Jesus I can clearly see God always cares about me There's nothing that can stop There's nothing that can stop There's nothing that can stop Or take away my God's amazing love Because I trust in Jesus, I don't need to be afraid of the future. Because I trust in Jesus, I don't have to be afraid of being in control of my future. Because I trust in Jesus, I know I do not need to be afraid. The universe doesn't go on forever and ever. It's very big and getting bigger, but it is not infinite. Eternity is. And when I was your age, that thought terrified me. Jesus promised his disciples, I'm going to prepare a place for you and I will come again and receive you to myself so that where I am there you can be also. So I'm not afraid of eternity anymore. Hello boys and girls, my name is Ben. I'm here for Sunday Service Takeover to move the camera a wee bit, who cares? I'm here to do a wee game with you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to got my flashlight on my phone. Here it is. Easy peasy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the lights off. It's going to be all dark for us. And I'm going to shine the light up. And I want you to take a step forward. I'm going to shine the light down. And I want you to take a step back. I'm going to shine the light left. I want you to take a step left. And I'm going to shine the light right. Light right. I'm going to take a step right. I'm going to do that with the lights off. And I want you to follow them steps. If you make a mistake, you need to sit down. But if you get them all right, you might get a high five or a congratulations, okay? I'll start with a wee warm up and I'll tell you what to do again during the warm up with the lights off and then we'll go into the actual thing. And I'll start off slow and then get faster and faster, okay? So I'll turn the lights off now. Okay, so I shine the light up, take a step forward. I shine the light down, take a step back. I'm going to shine the light left, take a step to the left. I'm going to shine the light right, take a step to the right. Okay, that's our warm up. Are we ready? I'll start slow. Okay, we go faster. And we go faster. And we go faster. And we go faster. <laughs> okay, and I'm also done. Okay, if you're out, maybe sit back, stand back up. We'll go for a restart and we'll go again. Okay, so you ready? Shake it off. Shake your, shake yourselves off like me in the, in the dark. Okay and get ready to go again. Okay, so three, two, one, we'll go again. We'll start slow. We'll speed up a wee bit. Maybe get a wee bit faster. Now a wee bit faster. And we go faster. We go faster. We go faster. A little bit faster. And if you're still man to stay in after that, boys and girls, you deserve an award. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the wee game there. I'm gonna hand you back over to the next exciting thing. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. 
From our story earlier, we learned that when Peter kept his eyes on Jesus, he was able to do what Jesus told him to do, to walk on water. But when he took his eyes off Jesus and focused on the stormy waves around him, he started to sink. The verses that Harry read to us teach us that God's word lights up the way we should go. And the verse that Georgia read teaches us that Jesus is God's word. Jesus came to earth to show people what God was really like. He would light up lives with his goodness and love and hope. When we read God's word, the Bible, we are coming closer to Jesus. So come to Jesus. Read the living word of God. Tell him all your hopes and cares and fears and let him teach you how to live for God, especially when life is dark and scary. Follow the light. Jesus is the light that leads to life. Hi kids, hope we're all keeping well. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to shout at the screen or TV, whatever it is you're watching this on, uh, your favorite thing to do while you're off school at the minute. Okay, so it's time to pray. This prayer is gonna be a little bit different. The reason so is the words are going to be on the screen and you get to keep your eyes open. So when the words in big bold letters come up, that's the part you read along with me. Um, the reason we're doing this is when you say stuff out loud, you're more likely to remember it. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we can put our trust in you. Our help comes from the Lord. When we are afraid and when worry gets the better of us, you comfort us and bring us joy. Our help comes from the Lord. You keep us going, you give us peace, and you calm all our fears. Our help comes from the Lord. You know our names, the numbers of hairs on our head, 
and each time our heart beats. You delight in us, our help comes from the Lord. At times we have worried about the future because we don't know what is going to happen. It makes us nervous to think about the things we don't know. Our help comes from the Lord. Help us to see you and focus on you alone. Our help comes from the Lord. Thank you that your grace, peace, love and faithfulness will never leave us. Every day we have everything we need to do your will. Our help comes from the Lord. Amen. Thanks for taking the time to tune into our Kids Takeover service this evening. Whether you are a little kid, a big kid or just a kid at heart, we hope you will leave your sofa feeling encouraged tonight. Jesus is the Son of God. He has power and authority over everything. So we can face the future knowing that he is in control. And Jesus is the Word of God. He lights up the way for us and shows us which path to take. We hope that you will say more confidently than ever, I'm not afraid of the dark. Bye. <laughs>